uh, well, this is awkward. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team keep it clean. So YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Ink Raven here with another video. And if you've been paying attention for the last couple of days, even if you haven't even been paying attention for the last couple of days, you know that there has been a lot of craziness going on with the Baltimore Ravens and their running back room. Uh, of course, after all the workouts, after all the rumors, after all of this and the that, the Ravens ended up signing Le'Veon Bell to the practice squad. Uh, and they said that he's expected to be on the active roster soon enough. When that time comes, hey, who knows? But we'll see if it's sooner rather than later. Um, but like I said in yesterday's video, I'm sure it's a very humbling experience uh, for one Le'Veon Bell being on the practice squad after being one of the best running backs in the league just a couple of years ago. But... Um, before Le'Veon Bell was officially added to the practice squad, uh, we all had our thoughts on who the Ravens should sign, who they should bring in. I thought that they should bring in Devontae Freeman. I thought that he is a better fit than Le'Veon Bell. Uh, but with them bringing in Le'Veon Bell, even though he has a different style from what the Ravens do, maybe that change of pace could end up being good. And especially, I know everybody's been talking about his hands. This dude can catch like a wide receiver, which we know and which we appreciate. And we also know that with J.K. Dobbins, he was expected to get very much more involved in the passing game. Gus Edwards is as well. So with Le'Veon Bell, hey, why not? And again, worst case scenario, because I know there's been a lot of people freaking out about the Le'Veon Bell signing. Oh man, what if he starts acting up? What if he doesn't work out? What if it's this? What if it's that? What if he doesn't look so good? They'll cut him. It's not a big deal. Worst case scenario, he doesn't look good. He doesn't look explosive. They cut him. But you got to feel like with the Ravens and the way that these dudes run the ball, that even if a running back hasn't looked himself over the past couple of years, even though, again, Chiefs, they're not a running team. They're not. And the Jets, they barely even a team. They're not. So you can't really hold those teams and that lack of production that Le'Veon Bell had with those guys against his overall career. So I'm excited to see what these Ravens do with Le'Veon Bell. Uh, I'm happy for Le'Veon Bell that he's getting another shot. And we getting the motiva extra motivated Le'Veon Bell. We saw how he updated his bio to everything that everybody had been saying about him. But anyway, somebody else whose first name just so happens to start with an L, they were released from their team yesterday before Le'Veon Bell had, well, before it was announced that Le'Veon Bell had became a member of the Baltimore Ravens practice squad. And that was one Latavius Murray. And like we talked about yesterday, it's funny because there's been a lot of people on both sides of the whole Le'Veon Bell. Should the Ravens sign him? Should they not sign him? And after they did sign him, there's been a whole lot of people on both sides. Oh, I don't think it's going to work out. It's a waste. And oh, no, this thing could really do some damage in a good way to opposing teams' defenses. But And then I know somebody was like, man, imagine now Lamar Jackson, Le'Veon Bell, when they get on that backyard football team. Ooh. Anyway. Um, so with Le'Veon Bell, there was that 50-50 split with Devontae Freeman, the same thing. And with a lot of other players and whatnot, it's always that split. And that's fine. Everybody's not going to agree on everything. But yesterday, when Latavius Murray was released, I literally saw all the Ravens flock in unison. Everybody was on the same page with that. And we could all understand why. This is a running back had a good average per yards per carry last year as a backup, had a good average yards per catch last year as a backup for the New Orleans Saints. So when you think about that, and he had a, he's had a pretty productive career. Uh, he played with the Raiders. He played uh, with the Vikings as well. And he's usually been a backup guy. He's had some stints as a starter now, and he's been productive when he's a starter, but he's always been a productive running back. And if he, the Ravens would have added him to the mix, I don't think anybody would be complaining. But he himself, he wouldn't be complaining either because it seems as if Latavius Murray is actually still interested in the Ravens. And I'm not sure if when this came out, maybe he hadn't got the memo yet. 
because we know that timing is everything. But let's look at what he said when speaking to one Josina Anderson. She said, just got off the phone with running back Latavius Murray. He told me, and she quoted, so these are his words, not hers. I'm willing to discuss an opportunity with anyone interested in me. So I said, okay, cool. He, well, that's the obvious, right? Like, I'm willing to discuss an, an, an opportunity with anybody that's interested in me. Okay, we get it. Because he right now he doesn't have a job. He does not have a job. Um, and real quick, just to get into that, with Saints releasing him, Shannon Sharp made a really, really good point yesterday. And I'm sure many players have gone through this as well. Uh, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember the exact tweet, but he talked about how with the Saints, just the timing of it was just nasty. Because he said the Saints, they sort of backed, well, they thought they backed Latavius Murray into a corner. Because they could have asked him about this whole little pay cut. They could have asked him about it in March. They could have asked him about it a long time ago. But they waited and 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 waited, and waited till a couple of days before the season's getting ready to start. And so, to where you sort of like, all right, hey, he's stuck now. Let's ask him to take this pay cut. He's going to take it because he ain't got no other options. Other, other options would be becoming a free agent. You going to be a free agent at this time? The market is it's not done, but it's, it's really slow right now, especially for running backs. We got him right where we want him. So they asked him to take a pay cut now instead of way before. And he said no. So their plan may have backfired. And they're like, all right, you know what? Just bye. You're out. But anyway, um, back to the quote. She said, I'm willing to discuss an opportunity with anyone interested in me. At the same time, Baltimore is a team that was impacted by injuries, has a great chance of winning, and a great coaching staff. I just want to get to work. So he sounds like he is very interested in the Ravens because he brought out several things that make a big difference. And I know a lot of people have talked about, well, what about the money? What about the bread? Well, if you got a player that just got cut and they speaking about these things, then it seems as if it may not be all about the money. Because with Justin Houston, again, it was not all about the money. He saw an opportunity and he knows what these Ravens are capable of. and He jumped on it. And we've seen plenty of players, plenty of times. They with the Ravens, they love the culture there, man. They love it. A lot of them take less money. And you know, Ravens, they love giving less money, too. But a lot of them would take less money just so they could stick around. Mark Andrews, enough times with contracts, especially with quarterbacks, but with really with any position, it's not always about who the best is. It's not. It's not always about who the best is. It's about the timing of the deal. Remember Joe Flacco, he got paid highest paid quarterback. He was never the best quarterback in the league. Now, he did come off a Super Bowl. So he was the most recent successful quarterback in the league at that time, but he was never the best quarterback in the league. So he ended up getting be, becoming the highest paid quarterback at that time. Twice, two times in his career, he was the highest paid quarterback. And, and it's like in one of those times where he was coming off an ACL injury. But anyway, with Mark Andrews, he doesn't have the highest average salary. Now, it's said that over the next four years, he'll get the most money by a tight end. But... Maybe Ronnie Stanley will probably be a better example. He's a top left tackle in the league. He's not the highest paid, though. Marlon Humphrey, he's a top cornerback in the league. And you can seriously make a case that he's number one for everything that he can do, moving inside, outside, and all that. But he's not the highest paid corner in the league. So you get my point with, with the Ravens. Guys will they'll take less. Just to stay, because these guys could easily leave. They could easily come out, hey, I want to be traded. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm trying to be the highest paid this. I'm trying to be the highest paid that. And Ravens wouldn't want to trade him, but Ravens would be like, you know what? All right, let's get some draft capital for him. Bye. But these guys end up taking less staying around. Um, so this says a lot about Latavius Murray, too. And to me, it shows me that it wouldn't be all about the money. Now, it would also need to be an opportunity, too. And with the Ravens having Le'Veon Bell on the practice squad now, um, Devontae Freeman, he's still in town. Uh, Cannon, they expected to sign him. We'll see what happens. Uh, with, with that, the running back room, it can go from being 
uh, not crowded to crowded really fast. So we just got to see how things develop over these next couple of days. And after the Le'Veon Bell signing, I don't expect him to get signed by the Ravens. But you can never say never. So we'll see how it all goes down. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out.